Welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about the end game, right? What is the end game for all this content that I'm continually putting out there? Um, I got this question the other day on one of my accounts, and I I thought it would be important to talk about um, because if you're an audience of mine, if you're listening to this podcast or if you're watching the video version of this, if you're seeing a clip from Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or even LinkedIn, um, you might be wondering, well, what? yeah, what is the entire point of everything that I'm doing right now? Um, So I wanted to address that, right? I wanted to address that. Um, I think the question also partly comes from the fact that I, some of the metrics on some of my platforms that I'm on is really, it looks pretty abysmal, (laughs) right? Right. The number of views or the number number of plays, the number of subscribers I have, um, or, or, you know, quote unquote followers um, on some of my platforms really isn't growing. And it's, you know, like the views seem like it's like, what's the point of doing all this in the first place? All right. So I want to really kind of um, let you guys know that, yes, there is a purpose behind all of this. Now, number one, um, the, my main platform that's generating most of um, the things that I'm trying to generate is Facebook, right? So my Instagram, my YouTube, um, the LinkedIn, TikTok, even this podcast isn't necessarily generating as much of the traffic um, that's that's providing me, um, well, yeah, the monetization, right? The monetization, whether it's through the courses that I'm teaching um, or, you know, just building my business in general, uh, my network marketing business. Um, so that a lot of that, a lot of that is being generated via Facebook, right? So understand if you're not watching this on Facebook, if you're not listening to this on, uh, you know, or seeing a clip of this on Facebook, um, if you're watching it on on some of the other channels then there is there is yeah there is that target and of course yeah the entire point of me continuing to put content out here is for you know uh, marketing right it's it's to to continue to build my reach expand my uh, expand my audience so that i can get my message out there and then turn that into profit right like that's a whole point of marketing growing my audience um giving my audience value so that i can so that i, I can continue to invite them to further value with the eventuality of a finance financial exchange for even more value right so it's really really simple actually the the framework is really simple to follow um, again it may not necessarily be apparent on all the platforms that I'm on um, and if you happen to be listening um, and watching this on a platform that seems low in engagement it's okay it's totally okay um, part of it also too is that um, these things are growing and I haven't really been doing this for that long a time. I really haven't. I I mean, the consistent daily publishing with YouTube and with this podcast only started September 1st, right? Yes, my YouTube channel has been open since 2008, but I haven't been consistent enough with it um, to really get the traction that I know I can get and will get, um, uh, you know, a year, two years, um, three years down the road with consistently publishing, right? Um, Yes, again, it's been since 2008 since I've created content for this channel. However, it's been so on and off um, that uh, that, uh, I haven't been able to build that traction. Um, Moreover, the main uh, the one of the other main things main purposes for me continually uh, putting content out and and sharing this stuff with the world is that it's an educative process for me it's a learning process um you know as much as it is marketing um, for my business it's also education for me and and i think that to me is more important because um what regardless of the immediate results that i'm getting i'm learning every step of the way and and in fact with youtube and and with this podcast um, outside of my short form, you know, outside of TikTok, Instagram, and, and Facebook, with YouTube and, and with this podcast in particular, I'm developing my skills, right? We talked about the develop, developmental goals in yesterday's episode. I'm developing my skills around SEO and, and creating, you know, better descriptions so that, that it's more SEO friendly. Um, and, and so, yeah, yeah, I, I've actually, since I've started really paying more attention to that, I've, I've started seeing an uptick in, in both of these platforms, my podcast and YouTube. So it's a work in progress. And, and that's really what I love. And it, it, again, it's the difference between, um, you know, a destination goal and a 
developmental goal. I do have destination goal. Of course, I, I want profitability and I want to be able to monetize this stuff and I want this marketing to work. Um, however, part of it is also having developmental goals and the growth process um, that this actually needs to be for me in order to achieve those things, right? I need to grow my marketing acumen. I need to grow my um, my SEO skills. I need to I need to be able to conceptualize and then put into place, um, you know, the entire marketing funnel that I want to create. Right. And also too, being on all these platforms, I can I, I only have so much bandwidth to learn <laughs> at, 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 at one given moment. Right. And so, you know, it took it took me a, a little while to really start stepping into the SEO um, uh, space and, and really being more intentional and mindful with the descriptions that I write for the for these videos and, and for uh, um, for the podcast for the podcast. Um, next step will be, uh, I think, I, I mean, it's unavoidable, <laughs> the AI and chat GPT as a tool um, to help me with exactly what I'm talking about, right? The SEO and and things like that. So it's an ongoing process, right? And that's the great thing about developmental goals and understanding, like really leaning into that, that regardless of the immediate results um, and the destination nation goals that I've set for myself, um, those are just mile markers and, and uh, uh, places, points in my journey where I can look at the current results um, that I've achieved so that I can then adjust what I need to develop it moving into the future so that I can create better results, right? right? It's, a, it's a process. It's a process and, and it's all about becoming um, as you go. And, and again, that really allows me to enjoy the here and now in doing this, despite the lack of metrics, despite the lack of engagement, despite the perceived lack of results. Right. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully I answered the question. Um, but yeah, just keep keep tuning in. Right. Like if for nothing else, you get to watch me develop and become something completely different. Um, I would wager to say that after a year of, of podcasting, um, yeah, I'm going to be a completely different person. I mean, I was a completely different person when I reached 100, which was a, which was the original goal. And now I'm at like 255, I think, or 254 this episode. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can't wait till I hit that one year anniversary. And then of course, you know, beyond that, right? So it's going to grow. It's going to grow. You just have to, you, you can't see it in real time. Um, but uh, yeah, a year from now, it's going to be something completely different and, and uh, it's going to be absolutely bonkers, I think. Um, so that's my message. That's the, that's the lesson for today. Um, the end game is there's not really an end game. Um, yes, there is a destination goal and there's always destination goals, but there's also always developmental goals. And, and it's a process of becoming rather than hitting an end destination. All right. So that's the message for today. Thanks for tuning in. More from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.